Hello everyone, doing some more work on the old Massey Ferguson backhoe. Last step of disassembly before reassembly is pulling out the cylinder sleeves. And I figured I'd show you the puller that I had made a while back when I was rebuilding my Ford tractor. See, it's a pretty simple contraption, just a uh, an upright sort of thing there with a hole through it. Piece of half inch threaded rod, a double nutted uh, two nuts up top, and then that bottom nut I uh, rotate around with the with one of the wrenches. And down there is a plate that I machined on, on the lathe with just a little shoulder to uh, catch onto the lip of the cylinder sleeve. You make the the smaller diameter of the shoulder fit into the sleeve, of course, and then make sure the larger diameter is smaller than the OD of the sleeve so the so that pulling plate can come all the way up and you just crank down on that nut and as you can see it's already starting to come out if you compare it to the other sleeve so two things here's a shot of the uh, removed assembly and just a better close-up of my puller see there's just a, a shoulder I machined there that's that's round and it just fits right up into the, the bottom of the sleeve there. Secondly, yet another reason why I'm happy this motor is coming apart. You know, the bearings are bad, the valves are kind of iffy. Uh, just take a gander inside that cylinder. That is quite a lot of just I don't even know wow this engine might have had some overheating issues just guessing this is a wet sleeve engine it of course this works of course on both dry and wet sleeve uh, this is a surprisingly hard pull um, depending on the size of your engine you might want to upgrade to a larger rod or maybe a grade 8 but this is just regular grade 2 half inch coarse thread and it works pretty good uh, nice and simple and quick and easy to make and it, and it works pretty well so that's it for today just a short video so if there's anybody out there needing to pull cylinder sleeves out there are special tools that you can buy or rent uh, I'm sure they're expensive I'm sure snap-on makes them and I'm sure you can uh, get a payment plan for them or you can just weld together a couple chunks of scrap metal like this and make a pretty nice puller. That's it everybody. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with this project and my many others. Uh, thanks for watching and come on back for more.